Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ian Fisher. I'm an educator here with College Coach. Uh, you might recognize my voice from our podcast and radio show, Getting In a College Coach Conversation. Um, I'm coming, you, uh, coming at you here today live uh, on March 12th. Uh, in the morning, we're responding to this big news that we're hearing today um, about this very complicated and elaborate uh, scheme of some wealthy parents in Southern California, including a, a couple of uh, television actors, uh, basically buying their way to, to bring entrance uh, for their students into uh, college admissions uh, or colleges all around the country. Um, and it's something that obviously is a huge topic of conversation uh, just within our team. We've exchanged a lot of emails over the course of the day um, expressing surprise and shock at this kind of uh, a scheme being perpetrated on, on colleges. And uh, it's something where, you know, my dad has actually texted me and a few of my friends who have nothing to do with college admissions. So, you know, it's kind of a big day when, when something like this splashes across uh, the front page of places like the Washington Post and the USA Today and even TMZ is getting involved. So uh, it feels like finally college admissions has, uh, you know, just sort of touched every aspect uh, of our society. Um, and, you know, this particular situation, I think, is particularly uh, tough. Uh, it's something that obviously is shocking and uh, criminal and scandalous. And, um, you know, we don't, when we enter into, you know, sort of the process of applying for college as students and families, there's a general understanding that it's a process that is committed to fairness, uh, committed to equity, committed to sort of bringing out the best versions of who students are in a really authentic and meaningful way. And I think that when you see something like this, you see a story like this that challenges that underlying assumption, uh, it can be really hard and really frustrating as a student who has been a good actor throughout this process, who has you know thoughtfully approached the uh, process of choosing colleges and creating an application, writing an essay. You know, those are all things that um, I think most students are doing really, really well. And when you see something like this, I think it's, it's understandably very, very frustrating. Um, and we're very frustrated here at College Coach because you know the ethical work that we do and engaging with parents and students and helping them to find sort of the best opportunity to present themselves and find the best fit for themselves is really challenged by bad news like this that, that you know, really makes this process something that it, it shouldn't be. Um, and so, you know, I think for the vast majority of students and families that are out there, uh, this is not something that you would ever even consider or even probably have the opportunity to do. But I think that there are some really interesting and valuable lessons that we can take away from this, even as sort of um, everyday people that are going through this process. Um, and so this is just sort of coming off at the top of my head. Uh, some people on our team said, hey, Ian, why don't you do a Facebook Live video? And I said, I don't even know how to do that. But um, we'll go ahead and try it uh, uh, this, this morning just to see if there are some initial reactions. Um, so the first thing that I think is really, really important, and I talk to families about this a lot, is the idea that the most important variable uh, in terms of future success, future outcomes being successful, uh, is the student. And I think that we put so much weight, so much emphasis on where a student goes to college as though you just sort of plug the kid into a school and they're going to be successful. And that seems like an underlying assumption with respect to this fraud scheme that, oh, if I just get my kid into USC, no matter the cost, they're going to have a successful outcome. If I just get my kid into Yale, no matter the cost, they're going to have a successful outcome. And it doesn't really work that way. Um, you know, when you go to college, it's just essentially presenting you with an opportunity. And the question is whether you're able to take the advantage, make the most out of that opportunity. That's very heavily dependent on who you are as a student and um, what you're able to commit to your education. So, you know, I think for, for every parent out there, every student out there, behind this sort of crazy story is, is a reminder of this idea that you kind of make the most out of your college experience regardless of where you go. And the students that were given this sort of free pass to those, go to these schools, I don't think that any of us believe that they're any better for it, right? The fact that they are students at 
Yale or USC or wherever it might be that they've sort of fraudulently gotten into, it doesn't change anything about where they're headed. Um, it's all about sort of the work and the effort that you put in along the way. Uh, second is this idea, you know, something that I've really noticed about students that I've worked with, and I've had the opportunity to work with some really amazing kids uh, during the time that I've been an educator here with College Coach, you know, they're supported by fantastic families. And one of the things that I think is, you know, the most indicative of success is a student's commitment to the process and really engaging with the expectations of, of what is a really challenging process in applying to college. And so I find that the students that have the best outcomes are the ones that are most thoughtful, um, most committed, most engaged. I got a wonderful email from a student I worked with this past um, fall. He sent me an email in December before he'd heard from any schools. And he said, no matter where I get in, I'm really proud of the work that I was able to put in this. I'm really excited about these options, but I'm most excited about what I was able to learn about myself through this process and what that gave me. And so when a student is sort of fraudulently given an opportunity to enter a school, which again sounds crazy, they're missing that opportunity to really learn something about themselves. With the best versions of this college process, you can actually grow and create a better sort of self-identity, personal understanding. And I think that that's something that we should all strive for as educators, as parents, as students. Let's not just treat this process as one that is transactional, but instead think about it as something that we can really gain from. And so, you know, I'm somebody, I studied philosophy in college, as many of you radio show listeners will know. Um, I'm very much focused on process being sort of the value that drives us as opposed to outcomes. If you have a good process, the outcomes will follow, but we really want the process to be the thing that we emphasize. And I think that that's really critical for students who are beginning to think about applying to college this coming fall and students as they reflect on the past fall, um, the late decisions here in the spring. Did you have a good process? Now's a really good time to be able to think about and reflect on that. Um, Third, and I think most importantly, um, is the idea of authenticity. Uh, this is a concept that we talk about a great deal uh, at College Coach and Bright Horizons. Uh, it's something that is really, really central to the work that we do with students, is helping them to find their authentic voice, helping them to bring out the aspects of their personality and their activities and their academic choices that really authentically reflect who they are. And that not only allows the students to be really proud of what they're putting forth and sharing with colleges, but it also helps them to be in a better position to make a really good match. Because if you're authentically you, and a college is able to see that and read it in your application, then they're able to identify that great fit and bring in a group of students that are going to be you know, just an awesome part of a new freshman class and a new community. So, you know, I think a great reminder coming out of this, uh, another lesson is just the idea that, you know, being authentically yourself and representing yourself with authenticity, even if there are some failures along the way, even if there are some things that, you know, are not necessarily perfect, those give you shape and give you color and give you dimension as a person. And that's something that I think is really, really appealing as you engage in this process, but also start to think about developing relationships going forward as a college student, faculty members with you with your peers, with your classmates, all of those things. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're just kind of, it, we're reeling a little bit just in terms of what this news looks like. And um, I think everybody is sort of shocked um, you know, what's, what's going on here. But I think that, uh, you know, I always come back to, all right, well, what's the information that we can use in a way that's going to be helpful for us based on where we are now? What's actionable information? And I think that a reminder of, that authenticity, um, that reminder of really engaging in this process thoughtfully and being someone that is reflective and, um, you know, treats this as an opportunity to learn and grow. Um, and then finally, you know, understanding that the most important variable is going to be us, that it's not about where we go, it's about who we are and what we put into it that, that makes the greatest impact later on down the road. So um, for all of you students uh, out there that have gone through this process in the past fall uh, that put so much hard work and effort uh, into it. I want to say congratulations to you on that before you start to hear back from school. Um, I don't want this story to frustrate you or to challenge the outcomes that you ultimately get, the decisions you get from schools. 
Um, I want you to feel proud of the work that you've done and understand that, you know, these bad actors, you know, they don't reflect on, on you and your effort and uh, your engagement with this. Um, so those are just a few thoughts from me. We're under the 10 minute mark, which is a miracle. Um, but I want to thank you for uh, joining us this morning slash afternoon um, and, and wish all of you seniors good luck in the coming weeks uh, and wish all of you juniors sort of authenticity and growth and um, learning throughout the rest of the college admission process that you've got in this calendar year. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.